Binya traded her necklace for the blue umbrella a tourist carried. Everybody admired the blue umbrella. Ram Bharosa desperately wanted the umbrella, but Binya would not part with it. By early October, Binya's umbrella had turned a pale blue, patched in several places, but still the prettiest umbrella in the village. That October, everyone seemed contented, except Ram Bharosa. Ever since it had become known that Ram Bharosa had tried to have the umbrella stolen, the village people stopped buying from his shop. Who would have dealings with a man who had sold his soul for an umbrella? The old man sat alone in his empty shop, wondering if anyone would ever again step in for a glass of tea. The roof leaked and the wind got in through the sheets, but Ram Barossa did not care. Binya passed his shop almost every day. But strangely, Binya closed the umbrella whenever she came near the shop, opening it again only when she was out of sight. Had she loved the umbrella too much? Had it mattered more to her than people? One day, she entered the shop and asked the old man for a toffee. Binya had left the shop when Ram Bharosa saw the closed umbrella lying on his counter. There it was, the blue umbrella he had always wanted. He stretched out his trembling bony hand and took the umbrella by the handle. But I'm never in the sun or in the rain, he said aloud. Of what use is an umbrella to me? And he ran after Binya. Binya, you have left your umbrella behind, he shouted. He caught up with her saying, you forgot it, the umbrella. In that moment, it belonged to the both of them. But Binya shook her head and said, You keep it. I don't need it anymore. But it's the best umbrella in the village, protested Ram Barossa. I know, said Binya, but an umbrella isn't everything. And she left the old man holding the umbrella. There was nothing between her and the blue sky.